Three ways to wear a white blazer. Hi ladies, it's Erin and welcome back to my channel. My mission through my channel, to make your life simpler, to make you look more stylish, and to help you look like the best version of yourself each and every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Today I wanna to share three ways to wear a white blazer. Not just any white blazer, this white blazer, which is affordable. It's from Nordstrom by the Gibson line. It is very chic and simple. Not a lot of details. Also, it's ponty knit, which means it's very difficult to wrinkle. My favorite is I cannot stand iron, and it's also easy to care for, and I love that part of it too. Ponty knit's also a bit more casual than traditional suiting fabrics, so it has a dressy element to it because of the shape and the cut and the fit, but the fabric makes it a little bit more casual, which I really love. And I also think it's on the warmer side, so if you need a real transition piece from now until it gets hot, 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 this is a great piece. Now I know some of you probably in Texas and Florida are like, it's already hot, <laughs> too late. But here in Colorado, we still have six feet of snow, so it's not too late for me. <laughs> anyway, I wanna show you three ways to wear this blazer. As always, I'm gonna do varying levels of dressiness and I'm gonna talk about where you can wear each of these looks. They're very easy to recreate. You don't always have to get the exact same pieces. Just pull things out of your closet. You've got some things in there, just go digging. Doesn't have to be this exact white blazer, it could be the one that you already have in your closet. The first look I wanna show you is elevated casual. This is a look that I would wear to dinner, I would wear it to a business lunch, I'd wear it to meetings, I'd wear it just out and about when you have to be a bit stepped up and a little bit more polished. The reason this look is a bit more polished because the blazer definitely you know, elevates the whole look, but then you've got pumps with it, you've got a really nice chic bag. If you wanted to pare it down and, and dial it down a little bit, all you'd have to do is swap out the pumps for something different, like an ankle booty, a loafer flat, a mule, white sneakers, anything like that will make the look more casual. So I paired the white blazer with a really pretty beige crew neck sweater. It's a very lightweight fabric, so it doesn't feel super heavy, the two together. And also that sweater layers beautifully under the blazer. Cause when you're layering under things, you don't want it to be bulky and to feel like I can't move my shoulders. And then on my lower body, I have on a pair of dark wash high rise skinny jeans, my favorites. Talk about them all the time. This is the heavy hitter in your wardrobe. If you don't already have a pair, you should have some. I do have wardrobe basics checklists. You get them for free when you subscribe to my newsletter. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and haven't gotten those checklists. By the way, for those who asked, I will be redoing my checklist so that they're easier to print. I know some of you had concerns about being able to see the words. So I'm redoing those, I'm in that process, and I'll let you know when they're done. And then on my feet are one of my favorite pairs of pumps ever. They're white pumps by Sergio Rossi that I think are incredibly gorgeous. I love them, I love the strap detail. And then the bag to finish off the look, this is a really chic, really polished, sophisticated bag by Celine. I bought this bag on the Real Real. I knew exactly the bag I wanted to buy. I targeted that site specifically, although I did pop around and look at other sites too. I knew the color I wanted to get and I got a great deal on it. So I highly recommend if you want to invest in a super high-end designer bag like this, you get one that's classic, that doesn't have a ton of hardware, that's not too trendy, that will stand the test of time and then shop around for it and be patient. That's the hard part. Patience, very hard for me. The second look I wanna show you is slightly dressier. I do realize, you guys, that the skirt is wrinkly, so you don't have to tell me in the comments. I get it, I know. I just, I physically can't iron anything because I really detest it. It's like my least favorite thing to do. I could iron, but I really don't like it. So I think we can all look past the wrinkles, I hope. I know you can look past the wrinkles and see how chic the outfit is, wrinkle free. Like imagine in your mind, wrinkle free. It's super chic. This skirt, by the way, I think I bought when I was 27 years old at Express, so it's that old. So this exact skirt is not gonna be available, clearly, but I will find one that's similar. I just love the little trumpet-shaped skirt in a varying tone of white with a varying texture. See how it has that sheen, more of an ivory tone, and then the bright white blazer, just like such a nice combination. And then with this, because you wanna create more of a waist, you can button the jacket 
or you could add a belt around the blazer to create even more of a waist. I just threw a cami tee on underneath this, but you could do a dressier cami. You could do something that's short sleeve so that you would feel very comfortable taking off your blazer if you needed to because camis may not work for the office. And then on my feet, you guys, these mules are so good. They're Vince Camuto in a python print. And look at the heel. The heel is like an inch and a half, two inches max. It's tiny, it's small. So if you're tall, if you don't like heels, this is a good pair for you. They're comfortable, manageable, small. I know they're hard to come by, so when we find one, we talk about it. These shoes are awesome, and I feel like they have this versatility about them. You could wear them to the office, you could wear them out running errands, you could wear them to dinner, you know, you could dress them up or dress them down for sure. They'll be a lot more versatile than you think they will be. You'll reach for them again and again and again. The last look I wanna show you is the most casual of the bunch. It actually is my favorite of the bunch. And that is the same blazer, same cami tee. This cami tee is from Express with a pair of Arizona jeans from JCPenney. Last time we checked, these jeans were $13. What? It's like two and a half Starbucks lattes or a pair of jeans. I think I'll go with the jeans. These are Junior's jeans. I know many of you messaged me and you were like, wait, what, Junior's jeans? I don't shop in the Junior's department. Okay, just take a beat, take a breath, okay? The sizing of the Junior's jeans at JCPenney is the same as any modern sizing out there. So if you're wearing Rag & Bone, AG, Page, Joe's Jeans, J Brand, any of those brands, the sizing is exactly the same. The cuts are exactly the same. So in the Junior's section at JCPenney, size one equals size 26 and so on. So two is 27, three is 28, four is 29. You get the picture, right? They go up to size 19. So there is a size to fit you among these jeans, even though they're juniors. Don't let that name scare you off, okay? But these jeans remind me a lot of a pair of Levi's that I have, it's the same fit. It's like that old school stiff denim fit. It's a pair of mom jeans, but they're really cool and I like them a lot. And then these sneakers are killer. These are by Lineo Palo. Sorry guys if I'm saying that name wrong. They're the cutest sneakers. They're platform sneakers, so for us shorties, they're so dreamy and they're very comfortable. They're perforated so your feet are not gonna get too hot. You can wear them without socks. And they have kind of a squared off toe. They're really an interesting sneaker. I think you guys are gonna love them. Plus, I'm short, so I really like the height of the platform. The only thing with the platform is you have to be a little bit careful because sometimes it's stiff and so you like teeter a little bit on your ankle. You know what I'm talking about. But so far, so good. I'm gonna wear them around so I can test them out more for you guys, but they're really cute, really cute. And they run small. So these are eights, I'm normally seven and a half, so size up by a half size. So those were three ways. Obviously the last look is more for like errands, weekends, super casual things. Again, it's a blazer, so it does have a dressy element to it. As always, I'll put links to everything below, and if you have any questions, you can always comment below. Everything's on the affordable side today, with the exception of my Celine bag and the Sergio Rossi pumps, so I think you'll, you'll enjoy that too. If you guys wanna see any more Wear It Three Ways, I'm planning on maybe mules and also white dresses. But if you guys have an idea for wear it three ways, let me know. Are you sick of these videos? If you are, you can let me know that too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for your time, for watching today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye.